All right, hello everyone, it's Silver Kyle, and today we're going to be going over everything that I picked up in the month of January 2023, and there's a lot here. Uh, this is probably the most omnibus I've ever had in one month. I've also got a ton of books and one video game, so let's start th that off, and that is the Fire Emblem Engage Divine Edition. I'm so happy that I was able to get this collector's edition because I love Fire Emblem, and for the longest time, I could not pre-order this. And the only option that I had was eBay. And that was inflated prices. I was able to get this from Best Buy on like the day of release. All of a sudden, they had some more uh, in stock. Probably pe people that had canceled their pre-order. Either way, I snagged up one. And I'm so happy for that. I will say, though, that this is probably the weakest Fire Emblem I've played. Uh, and I... And I I've only started with Awakening, though. So I, I played Awakening, Fates, and Three Houses. I, di I didn't play Echoes, which was also on 3DS. So I'm not like a Fire Emblem veteran at all, but this, the story isn't as memorable as the other games were, and it's more of a return to form from what I gather from the older games pre-Fire pre, uh, Emblem Awakening. So if you just want a tactical game, it's still up there. I, it is relatively easy though, so I would recommend at least hard if you're, if you're used to tactical games. And I want, I'm, I'm, I'm considering actually trying a maddening run on this. So I, th I should probably do that with the other games because I enjoyed them more, but I'm kind of in the mood for this one. I'm about two thirds of the way through and the engage aspect is fun. You, you have the older emblems from previous games that kind of join forces with you and fuse together with you, Dragon Ball Z style. And that's kind of cool. They have their own little, uh, additions that as well for, for, uh, giving your units specific, uh, specials as well. So that's always nice. Um, it, it's good. It's just not my exact favorite that I've had so far in the Fire Emblem series. Next up, let's just go with this because it's kind of teetering. Uh, and we'll go into the omnibus after this. But I, I wanted to show that uh, I did a haul book haul recently because I ended up getting like a ton of books in, in the span of two days. And that's The Expanse. I am going to be doing an overview of this, but I'm, it's probably going to be next week because I've got quite a few videos that I want to do in the next little while that I'll go into in a second here. But really happy to have the first three books here. I probably won't be starting this until the end of the year, though. I've just been looking at my schedule that I've kind of created and there's just so much that I want to be covering before I, I dive into that because I feel like once I start, I'll want to keep continuing and there's just a few series and other books that I want to get to before that. Now let's go with the omnibus here. There's a lot and I've done overviews for all of them except for the one that just came in today, which I will be doing tomorrow. So Sp Ultimate Spider-Man Volume 2, really happy that they're continuing with the uh, Ultimate Universe. It's, uh, we have three solicited, so now we, I think we just need four and a reprint of the fifth one. We're also getting, and this one I'm really happy for as well. I, I almost more than all, I'm more excited than Ultimate Spider-Man is Wolverine Volume 3. I'm, I am excited for this because I can't wait for four and five. Four, five, and six is going to be when I started reading Wolverine. So that to me is really fun. Uh, the thinnest one, look at that. That's like an oversized hardcover. It's, I think it's like just shy of 500 pages. Marvel Superhero Secret Wars. Granted, I've been wanting this ever since I started getting back, or, or since I started collecting Omnibus, which was about four years ago now, maybe five. It's been a while. Uh, I think I started picking up Omnibus like a week before uh, Stan Lee passed away. So whenever that was, I think it was 2018, end of 2018. I think that's when I first started collecting Omnibus. Just by chance, a week before he passed, I ended up getting uh, the first Fantastic Four Omnibus. But I've been wanting this because it's like the first big Marvel event, right? So that's that's kind of what I want to dive into. Although I've heard it's kind of eh, <laughs> it's all right. Uh, is this Nick Spencer? Yeah. Uh, volume one, a current run that's kind of cool, but I'd rather that they follow that, that they started doing some gaps, especially some of the '90s stuff. Like, get some more stuff from Mark Bagley. That that's really just what I want. <laughs> Star Wars. Uh, this is the New Republic, which has a lot of the X-wing stuff. So the, the Rogue Squadron. That that I am looking very much looking forward to. There's a little bit of Shadows of the Empire stuff in here as well. Volume two is really what I'm looking forward to that we're supposed to be getting this summer, though. That, to me, is going to be really fun. This is my favorite era of Star Wars. It's the New Republic, which is right after Episode Six. To me, Luke Skywalker is Star Wars for me. It's that's I know that a lot of people want to kind of shy away from Jedis because they've been in the forefront for so long, but to me, that's that's Star Wars. Uh, I I like The Mandalorian, and, and, and I get that. But it's not... The Mandalorian isn't like a perfect show. It's just better than what we've received from star wars in the last little while that to me that that that's what it is it's it's not the 
greatest show that we could get from Star Wars. I think the greatest that we could get was maybe something that's a little bit of Mandalorian with Luke Skywalker, which is, I mean, we could get that. <laughs> All right, and the last omnibus uh, that I, I'm going to be doing an overview for for tomorrow, probably out of everything, this was a good month for omnibus, but the 90s X-Men, like the animated series X-Men, which is what I grew up with. This this is what got me into superheroes, really. This and the Batman animated series and the 94 Spider-Man, that's kind of what made me super excited and loved comic books from, from, from probably eight is, is when well this would i think was, this came out in 93 i think the um 92 92 that's when it started is 93 the batman animated series i know 94 is spider-man not that it really matters but either way very happy that we, yes it must be because we're getting x-men 97 i don't know what it looks like though i'm curious to see what that's going to look like either way look at that art that's just absolutely gorgeous and you have the perfect Perfect cast for X-Men as well is, is is that version. Now we're going to get into all the books. Now, a lot of these books I kind of showed already, but maybe we'll go through. We'll go through those ones last because I feel like it's a little bit more fun with the other books here. Just the nicest couple. I recently reviewed this uh, when it first came out. This came out at the beginning of January. I read it within a few days. I liked it, and I think I was a little bit more harsh on my review of it. I, 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 I said that it was a 2.5 out of 5, and I rated it 3 stars on Goodreads. I think it's actually closer really to, without Goodreads even, I think it's, it's a three star, three out of five. I still enjoy this, the storyline, the, the the back and forth between the two different characters that aren't necessarily um, part of, uh, that, that weren't part of potentially what had happened to the main point of this book. It was two different characters on either sides of this thing that happened. And uh, I liked it. I, I, I liked it. I just didn't like the characters as much. That was a problem with this. This is my next book that I'll be reading in the, ne in, in the next little while. And that's Exiles. This is literally, I just got it in the mail today. It just came out. Uh, so th this, one of, one of my friends uh, from work actually picked this up as well. So we're both going to be reading at the same time. That's really fun that we have two people at the same time reading the same book. Because I don't get that very often, especially with books, um, to have somebody that's doing the same thing as you and you can talk about it because you watch a movie and you talk about it like a big box office movie everybody's talking about it so you kind of get that uh awesome conversation that you can get going about oh i love this about it and, and that and you don't really get that with books so it's going to be fun to be doing that i also just recently picked up uh, a few days ago it came in the mail is the drift i want to read this but i've got so much other stuff so I, this might be at the end of february is when i'm hoping to get to that because i have uh, a bit of stuff coming in the next little while. Plus, I've got to read Exiles, so I've got a lot. Currently finishing up Hellbent, which is the second novel. So I did the ninth uh, house review just recently, and this is the newest book that just came out this month. I'm about halfway through, and honestly, I think I'm going to complete it tonight. I'm at page like 234 or something, and um, it, it doesn't look like I'm actually halfway through, but I am there. That looks a little bit more. The paper wasn't, the, the, the bookmark wasn't showing it correctly. I'm enjoying this one also a lot more than the first book. Um, I feel like the author, I had a harder time following along with what was going on. This basically fixed all those problems. So any negatives that I had for my review of Ninth House are kind of fixed in the sequel. So I'm really looking forward to that. And so we're, okay, so we're going to have the X-Men animated series tomorrow. And then on Friday, I'll probably have a review of this because I, I like to do Monday, to, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. If I can, that's kind of my schedule. Okay, it's only, it hasn't even been 10 minutes. All right, um, I just feel like I've been talking for a while. Hardy Boys, uh, book 61, The Pentagon Spy. I ended up getting that. I also ended up, th these are in my book haul. I kind of showed all of these. Uh, the Girls Who Disappeared. I don't feel like this is a 2023 20, novel, so I probably won't be diving into that until the very end of the year. This one is... A 2023 novel it came out in july and that is all the dangerous things i've heard of stacy willingham as, as well from flicker in the dark so this one i do want to read i just don't think it'll be february i think this is going to be a march or an april read but i i, I was able to get it when it was like i don't know 30 percent off or something like that and then these other books here hardy boys i'm hoping to read at some point in time i just the first few months are going to be very busy with a bunch of stuff that i'm trying to catch up on so i can read the new novels so that's why I, i'm not reading a bunch of older stuff but 
I probably will be reading Hardy Boys, I don't know, in the next month or two. I, I just like that kind of stuff. I also have book 62 on the way, I think. Did I show that one already? I don't even know. Do I have that? I don't even remember. Um, Fairy Tale by Stephen King. This I won't be reading probably for another 5-10 years. Because I want to read everything that he's written in publication order. But I wanted the hardcovers. And it was 30% off, so why not? Plus, I get 10% off with my Plums Rewards cards from Indigo. Speaking of Indigo, I've got the Indigo exclusive Babble. I think that's how, how you pronounce it. Uh, it's the same author from the Poppy War trilogy, which I've heard nothing but good things. I've also heard nothing but good things about this. This is arguably one of the best fantasy novels from last year. Uh, but I always try to stay current. So it, it, the unfortunate thing, especially because I'm, I have OCD when it comes to that, is I always want to read the... Um, the newer stuff first. I want to play the new game first. I don't want to go back to the old stuff. I always want to stay current. And then you kind of get screwed because you're always trying to play catch up. But I think I'm, I've am i been doing a really good job of trying to get better at that. Uh, so I'll be, I'll be able to catch up on a lot of more things because I'm much more focused now. Like once I finish Hellbent, which is why I want to finish it today, I'll have three books re uh, read for the month of January. I read five in, in December. I just ended up scheduling things a lot better and i didn't do that so much in the middle of this month i kind of slowed down um but I'm, I'm really into this book so that's why i think i could finish it tonight and then i'll have three books for january hoping to read four books in um february also that's another video i gotta do is i want to do a tbr for february so that's going to be coming soon i've got too many videos to do that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Anyway, that's everything that I picked up in the month of January. So thank you all for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you picked up in the January. And you've been bearded in. Beardage.